Hey guys, this is Goofer King Science, and today I want to show you this phosphor screen cathode ray tube that I built recently. I was inspired to build this by reading a post by Niall Steiner on his website Sparkbang Buzz, and there will be a link to that site in the description. First I'm going to show you how this is built. It's inside of a 125ml vacuum flask. The bottom has been coated with beta reactive phosphor from a fluorescent tube. Now I'll show you the electron gun. This is what launches the electrons at the phosphor screen. The anode is simply a piece of aluminum foil wrapped around the end of a glass tube with a hole poked in it. It is connected to the top of the stopper with a wire. The anode is just a nail that has been melted into the end of the glass tube. It is all sealed with a lot of epoxy to make sure it's vacuum tight. Once the vacuum is pulled and a high voltage is applied, the whole tube is filled with a beautiful glow. The phosphor screen can display deflection with a strong neodymium magnet. You can see how it concentrates the electron beam. Now I was curious if there were any x-rays being produced by this cathode ray tube, so I tested it with my Geiger counter and there were no x-rays being produced. Here's a shot of the cathode ray tube with all the lights turned off. It's even more impressive in the dark. This is running at only 2000 volts DC, so when I turn up to 15,000 you can see the glow becomes very intense, but the cathode ray tube heats up very fast so I don't do that for very long. So now I'll describe how this works. The electrons in the tube are accelerated by the high voltage potential between the anode and the cathode. This potential accelerates them enough that once they reach the bottom of the tube, they fly out of the hole poked in the aluminum and they excite the beta reactive phosphor. Something interesting is once the vacuum pump has been running for a little while, the glow will start to go away from the phosphor screen, but the plasma can still be affected with a magnet. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you want to learn how to build this, as I said, go to the link in the description to Niall Steiner's website, and he has a very extensive tutorial. Anyways, be sure to subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.